LeBron James in the most recent episode of The Shop. King James talked about his experience when visiting TD Garden. We've heard other players around the league, such as Draymond Green, Kyrie Irving, discuss the hostile environment in Beantown, and similar to them, LBJ did not hold back with his comments. Take a listen. In basketball, there are fans that you go play away that they can literally take the game from you. You can feel like, damn, the fans is not going to let us win this one tonight. Yes, I mean, I mean, what place? I mean, Boston. Boston, yeah. Why, why do you, why do you hate Boston? Because they racist as. That's yeah, they why nasty. they will say nasty. they will say anything, and it's fine. I mean, it's You're my life. It, I mean, yeah. I've been dealing with it my whole life. I don't mind it. Like I hear it. Like if I hear somebody like close by, I check them real quick. I move on to the game. Whatever the they're gonna say, whatever the they want to say. They might throw something on you. I mean, I got a beer thrown on me leaving the game. You know, like Boston. Is I'm, yeah, it's Boston. Perk, before I get to you, mm. I just have to say this, though. I'm looking at these stats right here. LeBron James has averaged 28.8 <laughs> points per game against the Celtics in his career. The most points he averages per game against another team is the Celtics, the second most, Boston. So just throwing that out there. Clearly, these fans are motivating him. Uh, you obviously played the majority of your career there. What's your reaction to LeBron's comments about the fans and the city being <clears throat> racist? Well, 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 I'm going to say this, right? You hear multiple players say, you know, on the opponent, opposing team about the racism that they experience in Boston. You even heard, I even heard Marcus Smart tell a story about how he was treated a certain type of way for his racism in Boston, and he plays on the Boston Celtics. You know, you hear all the stories from Bill Russell to, you know, Cedric Maxwell, Cornbread, right? But at the end of the day, here's what I want to say. It's racism everywhere. And I would tell people, I, I would say this to a lot of people, I spent eight and a half years there. And maybe because I was on the Celtics, I didn't experience racism. And I think people who live in Boston and people who move to Boston, like if you play for the Patriots and you're in the New England area or you play for the Bruins or you play for the Red Sox or you play for the Celtics and you get a chance to get there, you will see it's all different type of uh, uh, cultures and, and, and everything. So you actually have to move around the city of Boston. Now, I will say this. The fans in Boston do cross the line and hit below the belt when it comes down to being disrespectful. And I could say throwing pe throwing stuff at players like LeBron talk about had a beer being thrown at him. We saw a water bottle get chunked at Kyrie Irving. We heard the fans chant some certain type of things when it came down to Kyrie Irving. And even when we was playing against the uh, Cavaliers, when LeBron James was dropping those 40 pieces on us, we seen posters in the stands that were very disrespectful, you know, and you start getting out of bounds when you start talking about people, loved ones. Like we saw, I saw a poster that was addressing a situation with Mama Gloria, who's his mother, who's, now that's crossing the line. So I never dealt with racism, but I hear from so many other players about Boston being racist, you know, and things to that nature, but it's racism everywhere. But I will say, the fans are too damn disrespectful when it comes to opposing teams coming to Boston. They are, Keith. Real talk. No, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm listening to you talk about it. I can, I can say and back you up in, with this. There is bigotry and racism everywhere. There's certain sections mm -hmm. and regions of the country that tolerate it. In, in the sports arena, in Boston, much like you said. I've never really, because I never played in Boston. As a Boston player, I've only been an opponent. And, you know, nasty things were said, but nasty things were said in, in Buffalo, in New York, at the Giants Stadium. Bad things were said in St. Louis, at the Rams Stadium, in Minnesota, in the Minnesota. So I get it. It just seems like this conversation comes up at least once a year about Boston, at least once a year. Whether it's the baseball player and Torrey Hunter talking about he never wanted in his contract, he said that he he trade him anywhere. He put in there specifically. They could not trade him to Boston. Whether it's uh, uh, any you know players just going LeBron, anybody just all it's always coming up every year is something about Boston. Now, I'm sure there's a small fraction of fans in that stadium that's causing problems. It ain't everybody. Everybody mm -hmm. ain't. All, all 20,000 is not doing it.
but there's enough that makes you right. feel a certain way. Even when you look at the championship this year, the way the Golden State Warriors felt that they was being treated. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. I guess at the end of the day, you just got to fight through it and try to ignore it until it really crosses the line. Right. But, Molly, <clears throat> Keyshawn, let me, let me ask you a question, both of y'all. Let me mm -hmm. ask y'all a question. Don't, don't LeBron James own, like, a percentage of the Red Sox? Yeah, he does. If I'm not yes. mistaken? Don't yes. He, don't, okay, so, so here's my thing, right? And why would you even want to invest or have ownership into an organization that you would consider a city of being racist? That's my question to LeBron James. Like, you own a percentage of the Boston Red that's Sox. That's a good question. So Can, when do it you comes, think that's contradictory? Keep going, Perk. Go ahead, Perk. I, I, Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off there. Perk, finish your thought, and then keep going. No, you're good. No, 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 no yeah. because I, I yeah. just want to know. I just want to know because does it does you overlook? Do you do we overlook the bigger picture when it comes down to actually making money? Like, okay, if we go sit on here on one hand and say that the fans in Boston are racist, but on the other hand, you own a percentage of the Boston Red Sox, I'm kind of confused at, in that aspect. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.